Okay, welcome to Quantum Leap with uh, David and Corey. Um, actually, Corey is not going to be joining today, but I have a special edition of the show today that I wanted to go over, which is actually um, checking out the first module from my master class on actually what a quantum leap is. So how to how to set up your quantum leap and um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. I'll explain a little bit more about the master class. It actually starts on April 3rd. And uh, so you can go to my website to sign up for it. It's www.davidmkirsten.com for more information. I will put the link, but we're going to get right to it. Um, so this is actually the actual module number one of 12 modules about what is your quantum leap and the name of the show is quantum leap and uh, this module is on that. So I think it's some, some really good stuff here and uh, you don't need to be enrolled in the program to get a lot out of this. And uh, you know, I'll first begin by saying this is a quantum leap for your personal transformation. Now um, you know, maybe if you're in business or you're part of an organization, you start talking about quantum leap. Um, some of those people might want to fr might freak out, even though you know somebody like Elon Musk would totally get it. So uh, I'll just say that um, there's nothing controversial about improving yourself. It's kind of what you do with that that can be controversial. You know, I'm a big fan of hip hop. If you know all the <laughs> uh, a lot of the rappers talk about a lot of their barriers on on their um, you know, way to succeed. So I think there's, um, but we're not, we're not going to get into that. Just a quick anecdote. Um, based on the premise that we don't have to settle for incremental or measured growth. So that's linear growth where you kind of like, oh, I'll kind of keep on keeping on doing more of the same. It's really about exponential growth, about going from down here to up here, leaping to a higher orbit. And it's uh, best outlined and described by Price Pritchett um, in this short but legendary handbook called U Squared. I read that regularly, especially every time I look at making a quantum leap. And, you know, there's not only one quantum leap, once you kind of believe in it, you can do it all over the place. I mean, look at somebody like Elon Musk. You might not like, not like his politics or him owning Twitter, but I don't think anybody disputes his business savvy with all those companies and, you know, really the quantum leap that he created in the, the electric car business, the space industry, and a lot of other things. And um, anyway, another anecdote, I'm a big believer in kind of reading biographies and looking at the quantum leaps that others have made, like Steve Jobs or... Um, you know, in politics or sports, you know, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, you know, these folks were all kind of down here and then they jumped up here and how, how did they do it? What was their thinking? And that's what kind of this is based on. So Fred Wolf described it as the explosive jump that a particle of matter undergoes in moving from one place to another in a figurative sense um, means taking a risk going off into uncharted territory with no guide to follow. So um, there's a great passage actually in the beginning of this book called uh, where it's a true story. Um, the author of this book was, I'm just going to read this. I'm sitting in a quiet room at the Millcroft Inn, a peaceful little place hidden back among the pine trees about an hour out of Toronto. It's just past noon, late July, and I'm listening to the desperate sounds of a life or death struggle going on a few feet away. There's a small fly burning out the last of its short life's energies in a futile attempt to fly through the glass of the window pane. The winding wings tell the poignant story of the fly's strategy, try harder, but it's not working. The frenzy effort offers no hope for survival. Ironically, the struggle is part of the trap. It is impossible for the fly to try hard enough to succeed at breaking through the glass. Nevertheless, this little insect has staked its life on reaching its goal through raw effort and determination. This fly is doomed. It will die there on the windowsill. Across the room, 10 steps away, the door is open, 10 seconds of flying time, and this small creature could reach the outside world it seeks. With only a fraction of the effort that's now been wasted, it could be free of this self-imposed trap. The breakthrough possibility is there. It would be so easy. Why doesn't the fly try another approach, something dramatically different? 
how did it get so locked in on the idea that this particular routine, a determined effort offers the, the most promise for success? What logic is there in continuing until death to seek a breakthrough with more of the same? No doubt this approach makes sense to the fly. Regrettably, it's an idea that will kill. Try, trying harder isn't necessarily the solution to achieving more. It may not offer any real promise for getting what you want out of life. Sometimes, in fact, it's a big part of the problem. If you stake your hopes for a breakthrough on trying harder than ever, you may kill your chances for success. Price Pritchett, the author of that book, U Squared. And um, let me just take a second here. So I think this is such a good analogy of what a quantum leap is that really more of the same won't get you there. So you have to look at, uh, find the door, um, so to speak. And here's just a quick look at the table of contents. I just encourage you, even if you don't take the masterclass, check out this book because um, there's so much amazing kind of concepts and just the quick summary of this book it's only 36 pages long but it has a lot of good things i'll just a couple of the highlights this is really unconventional you know that's why you see only you know one percent of the population actually becomes rich so to speak because they do unconventional things um and you know think beyond what common sense would allow so a lot of this is a little bit counterintuitive and it can be laced with fear and uncomfortability especially in the beginning and to really actually create a quantum leap that's what the master class is designed to do but it takes a lot of other things to do the quantum leap to get the tools to make the quantum leap so um, i'm not going to go over the whole table of contents pick up that handbook i do want to give you some tips to reveal your quantum leap because really this module, module number one, and the first step is actually revealing your quantum leap. And the thing is, when you start talking about quantum leap, a lot of people are just not even in the position to even think like that. That's like, whoa, 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 there's no way I can get there, you know, just similar to the four minute mile before the four minute mile was run, you know, that's completely impossible. Um, but when so you first have to kind of believe that it's possible and then you have to start looking for how to get there. And, you know, it, it, if you, if you look at this literature and the, the lives of these successful people, you know, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Elon Musk, you know, these folks really demonstrate that a quantum leap is possible. So you see it, you see other people do it. So why can't you do it if you copy their thinking, so to speak, um, so it's really a, a North Star to guide your journey for success when you find out what your quantum leap is. And, uh, you know, so the, this first module is really dedicated to getting you thinking about your quantum leap, what that might be, and putting you really on the path to starting to achieve that. So a, a big thing is it must be a worthy goal. A lot of people just set the bar too low. Um, if You know, I'm just going to get by but you actually got to be able to get excited about what it is. So it should be a major overarching or goal for your life that encompasses what you want out of life and business. Don't settle for getting by, just um, go, go after what you really want. Otherwise you're not going to have the determination to get you there. And um, that alone in itself is, is such a powerful concept once you come to understand that. So this is another counterintuitive point. It should be something that you do not know all how to obtain. This runs counter to the conventional wisdom. So if you already know how to do it, um, then that's not a quantum leap. Uh, I know Bob Proctor, uh, one of the purveyors of some of these concepts, he recently passed away, said a man told him, well, I want to get a brand new Cadillac because my old Cadillac's old, you know, so um you already know how to do that. That's not a, a reach goal. This should be kind of a reach goal. So another critical thing is develop the faith that you will accomplish your goal, no matter how much doubt you may have at times. Erase this from your time, from your mind. I compare it to the analogy of how the sun and the moon go behind the clouds, but you know they're still there. Again, I probably won't be able to get to everything here, um, but 
you know, if you if you take the the, the master class and you have access to uh, office hours and you can um, we we can talk more about this stuff um, and especially if you read that book. So um, here here's kind of a an exercise that each module has a worksheet and the first is describe a quantum leap. Um, so first off you know, find a quiet place where you're not disturbed and you can relax and then work on these questions. Describe a, what a quantum leap looks like in your life, what you really want to um, achieve. And another key thing is it's something that you're actually prepared to make. So you haven't taken it yet. So that that's another key concept. And uh, just write that down. What, what may that be? I, you know, this program is really a business program. So this is something to do with, you know, business profession. It might be a, a vocation, you know, like a, maybe you're a, um, an organizer, a nonprofit director. So it doesn't have to be kind of for profit, but it's a, a goal. Um, then, then describe what is holding you back from taking this quantum leap. What would it feel? Number three is what would it feel like to achieve this quantum leap? So you actually have to envision what this looks like. And I admit in the beginning, you there's this blockages, all these limiting things that are that you placed on yourself that have been preventing you from taking this leap. Really, that you're kind of in your own prison and you can't take that leap. So um, the first thing is to really just see a way out of that prison, how to get there. Um, number four, write down three or more action steps that you can take this week, this month to set up your quantum leap and begin acting on them today. And some folks quantum leap might take 10, 20 years, might take a lifetime. You may never get there. But once you start moving towards that quantum leap, you know, it starts with action. I think that's a big thing about this program and something that really changed in my life is the action component that you have to start taking action right away and you have to keep in action you have to keep in motion so um a few closing notes here um choosing your quantum leap is key to the whole program and this module is really connected to a number of the other modules in the program which i'll describe a bit more particularly goal setting um you know go, the this quantum leap is kind of a a vision but there's also some other pieces that um kind of complete this puzzle and this can often take some time initially, like I mentioned, just the, the fact of opening up that there is a possibility of a quantum leap can kind of, you might not be able to sit down right now and write that. But once you get started, you know, the kind of horse leaves the barn, so to speak, and then you can kind of uh, at some point, maybe a light bulb will go on your head that maybe I do have a quantum leap in me. Maybe there is something I can do. So um, the other modules that are connected to this that'll really help with this are purpose, goals, vision. Um, don't let the perfect be the enemy of good. Of the good. Essentially, this is a dream that you're going to make a reality. And um, you know, you can email me if you're interested in learning more about this uh, master class, and I will put the links there. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say about it except for uh, sign up now. This is the first iteration. It's really a, a bargain deal for the value you're going to get out of it at $4.95. And I really look forward to sharing a lot more about the program and the successes that people have from taking this uh, six-week master class, uh, which is designed to generate your quantum leap. So uh, David Kirsten, uh, wrapping up this edition of Quantum Leap, we're actually going to come up with a second segment here at 1130, where Corey is going to join. He's in another um, engagement, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for uh, joining us.